Hello everybody, Sparkster1701 here, and in a few weeks we'll be talking bird, so I thought I'd kick it off a little early by talking about another kind of bird. We're taking a look at the Predacon Aerial Assault Warrior Dive Bomb. Dive Bomb here is one of the Predacons. He was released in 1986. He would be available in 1987, and he would be discontinued in 1988. As you can tell from his backpack unit, he obviously becomes a bird of some sort. And no, we're not talking the one-fingered salute bird either. So I will not do that to you here on the channel. But like most of the salute of the limb predacons or at least like one of his buddies rampage dive bomb does come with two guns and a sword but thankfully because of the way his wings are set up he can store his unused gun right here on the on his wings so at least that gives him some extra means of storage And in my eyes, he is one of the more impressive-looking Predacons, at least in this mode. Now, to take a look at his articulation. Yeah, he can rotate his arms at the shoulder. Only at about that point, but then once the wings fall off, he can rotate his arms all the way. He can also twist himself at the waist, and he can raise his legs up about so far. It's the one thing you have to watch out for when you're handling a dive bomb figure is the fact the wings do come off very, very easily. Especially after multiple transformations of him to Predaking. Since the wings are removed from his body so he can become an arm. And the wings get mounted on the back of Predaking. Alright now. Let's get ready and transform Dive Bomb. Of course first thing we gotta do is remove his weapons. Watch him fall over. Drop the wings off again, but that'll just make it easier to show off how to change him. The first thing we gotta do is we gotta fold up this portion here of his headpiece. Fold that up like so, and then bring down the bird head. His fists have a little yellow tab here on the inside. You can use that, or just push on them from the outside to push them in like that and then you'll scrunch them up like that. Do that here with the other arm and then you need to rotate his arms so they're pointing straight down and then you slide them in inside his body like that. And then now down here at his legs you're gonna take his legs at the knee and then you're going to fold them up inside the body like so. And then down here you'll see we got some new black pieces here. We use them. Fold out his bird feet. And of course we'll adjust the tail feather. Reattach the wings. They're supposed to just basically snap into place, but like I said earlier, repeated trans... There we go. There we go. Good loud snap. That's always nice. And then, once we got them on, just spread out the tips. And there we have it, folks. Dive Bomb is in his alternate mode. An eagle. And of course, for some articulation in this mode, well, we can raise the head up a bit, like so. 
And if you want to, for some more colorful things, you can open his mouth. The feet do adjust. And of course, as you saw, you can move the edges of the wings like so. But you can also move the wings up like that, too. For a more sinister looking appearance. Kind of like that. that. like that position. But of course, if you really want to go all out, you can also attach here. At the edges of the orange parts, you can attach his guns. And then Dive Bomb becomes an attack eagle. So, you can just get him up. Shift his head like that, and... As you saw there, he does kind of swoosh pretty good for a bird. All in all, that's not too bad. That's kind of fun. Taking a look now at Dive Bomb's loose parts. We'll start with the one that the manual doesn't really speak of, and that is his wings. His wings are detachable since they are needed to be for the combined form. The biggest thing you'll want to check for, folks, on here is the condition of the stickers here along the wings. Because you will either want them to be totally present like this, or to be like that and be totally gone. Because if any of them are missing or damaged, it will affect the overall look of not only Dive Bomb's Eagle Mode, but it will also affect how well Predaking looks when he has the wings on, so... Normally, sticker condition isn't something a lot of us worry about, but in the case of Predaking, some of them it's best that it either has all the stickers for a certain area or none at all. Next up is his component piece for Predaking. He has the left hand because Dive Bomb is defaultly the left arm, although you could make him the right arm if you so are so inclined to do so. so. I do like the four claws here on the end of his fist. It's like they couldn't decide if he's going to try to go for Wolverine or Freddy Krueger. So they compromised and went in between. And Dive Bomb has his guns. He has two of them. The instructions describe these as particle beam rifles. They don't look too bad. And lastly, he has his sword. The instructions describe as a laser guided sword. And anyway, that's all of Dive Bomb's loose pieces. Moving right along now, we'll take a look at Dive Bomb's instructions. Get these unfolded here. You can see we got a decent picture of him here, showcasing of all the pieces. And as you can see there, that label sheet would have been quite impressive. And then this shows how to connect the wings onto him. And then how to make him the attack eagle. And then how to transform him from an eagle to a robot.
And then, of course, here on the back side, we have a big sheet for his stickers. The rub sign, which is on his tail. And how to save your robot points. And then, of course, we've also got instructions for Pareto King. Starting with Razor Claw, and then down to Headstrong. And then a tantrum, and then a dive bomb, and then a rampage, and then how to put them all together to form Predaking. And of course, we also have Predaking's tech specs on here, but we'll cover those when we get around to Predaking. Meanwhile, we take a look at Dive Bomb's specs. It's all done up in purple to show he's a Decepticon. It's called, it says Predacon above him. It gives his name as Dive Bomb, and his function is Aerial Assault. His motto is, Conquer the skies, and below you will fall. He's like a kid at a candy store. Always delighted by all the targets he has to choose from. Builds mecha nests atop tall buildings and mountains. Composed of late model sports cars, wings of jets, theater marquees. Back mounted rocket thrusters allow speeds of 300 miles per hour, 2,000 mile range. Can see a dime from 10,000 feet. Maybe he can help, find, help me find some of my lost change. Has particle beam rifle with infrared sight and laser guided sword. Magnetism inhibits flying ability. With fellow Predacons, forms Predaking. Now let's come over here and we'll put the decoder on and take a look at how his stats are. It gives his strength as 6, his intelligence is 7. His speed is 6, his endurance is 7, his rank is 6, his courage is 7, as is his firepower, and his skill is also about a 7. So, he's just a slightly above average warrior in most respects. Now we get down to my thoughts. What do I think of Dive Bomb? Dive Bomb is one of the few Predacons that I actually really like. I mean, I didn't get him until I was an adult collector, and I was able to buy the entire Predacon set alongside my brother. We both bought it jointly and then split it up once it got here. And I took a liking to Dive Bomb almost immediately. I mean, the orange and black colors that are kind of signature for the Predacons, they're not bad on him. The gold stickers really help set him off the most, especially when you fan out those wings like he has. And as the only flyer on the team, he definitely gets some good billing out of it. By probably also being the one that's sent out to scout the area before the Predacons start an invasion. So all in all, I do think that Dive Bomb is a nice, sturdy figure. The More Than Meets the Eye guidebooks go a little further by stating that he has some sort of a rivalry going on between himself and the Dinobot Swoop. So that tends to make Dive Bomb a little bit single-minded, since he wants to find and destroy swoop if the chance ever pops up for him all in all though i'm gonna put dive bomb up in the top tier he's definitely one of them that he's got the look to definitely be an impressive figure and if he was a real transformer he probably would be even more impressive to look at and see in battle Anyway, that concludes my review of the Decepticon Aerial Assault Warrior Dive Bomb. I hope you all enjoyed it. 
If you like the video, please drop me a thumbs up here on YouTube. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below and join our ranks. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be alerted when I post new content. And also, share your thoughts about Dive Bomb in the comments down below. This is Sparkster1701 saying I will catch you all later.